So you have passion, unrequited love. Yep, this could be the one and the attraction. And I feel like this person didn't recognize what they had. So this is one of those scenarios. Back then it didn't work out because they probably just were not in that headspace. Um, and now they wanna make an effort. Yep, I see as their soulmate very soon. So this is a person who understands. I feel like this was a time apart. And at this point, you know, they do feel you could be their person. You could be someone they see go further you know go go the long haul and there's still attraction here but also i feel this has to do with what you're bringing into your life your manifestations here aries so um this can bring back this person if they're still in your energy for some of you and this is this could bring in someone else someone new because of this path you've been in with not having reciprocating connections so let's see and you might meet you know some of you may meet someone really really great or maybe dating and met someone really really great and willing to make this effort for you and text all the boxes that you you want wow beautiful so look at this the tower with the magician talk about manifestation and this is what i'm saying like i feel like it's a test because the this leo the lion's gate really brought in some energy that really is putting people into this space of what do i what do i want and it's either going to close you it just whatever it is is not going with you it's not supposed to if it's not supposed to go with you it's supposed to be gone it's supposed to change and this is an activation energy to bring in these towers whether it's an emotional feeling whatever the tower is but it's a disruption to bring about and the way the universe speaks to us is through our body through our emotional body and how we feel and if we are conscious enough to hear then we hear the guidance we hear something right um but yes not everybody is in that space but that's just how cycles repeat so sometimes the discomfort could be very uncomfortable and then guess what the comfort of old ways is where we stay which is why nothing changes and then we're we're in this space then and be like oh, i'm in the same space next you know the next year and it's like we haven't moved we haven't moved and so here we have firm foundation. And I feel like this is the desire here. You know, this person probably had to, you know, was, was in a space of really laying ground for themselves on a physical level 3D because this is four of pentacles. And stability was probably something that they prioritize. And that's what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be. Um, but in this time apart, I feel like this has just been a space. Maybe you guys dated. This could be an energy of someone you guys dated. And then like time went apart and you have had separate lives. And so this person is in a space of choosing wisely. So who they going to commit to next is going to be what they choose, you know, and it's going to be a wise decision. I feel, I feel they've had an exploration stage in their life that has allowed them to be in this magician energy from the lessons learned and the magician is the number one so it's fresh new beginnings and this person understands what starting over is and how many things need the commitment to restabilizing which is why they have to choose wisely and same goes for you there we go look at this the star and the emperor and i feel this person is very focused um well, this is your energy too aries so i feel this is like a message for both because even the fact that the way i'm giving the message i feel like you're also embodying this energy of making decisions and your direction which is probably why it's attracting you to a person very similar to you so that's why I feel like for some of you, it will be you attracting this person because of the energy you're embodying. And there is you and the star here is called hope. And this there's this renewal within your soul and your spirit where it's activating. It's like, 
I also feel preserving. And you're being very mindful and careful because of all of the experiences, you know, that, that you had things that weren't really adding up in your life that you're like, okay, I, I, need, to, I need to sit back and think about this. Okay, so let's see what this tower is about here, Spirit. What is this tower? Oh my God, there goes that emperor. This is serious elevating elevation here. Emperor, yeah, this emperor has been almost in every read, you guys. Everyone's like really stepping up their game. Give me more on this tower. Everyone's like about bringing about change, taking lead. Yeah, talk about change, death card, more major arcana and the bottom of that is ton of cups we're committed to what we want and i also feel you guys can be dealing with an aries or scorpio but i feel your person has again they've been through a lot so this is a person who knows we've got emperor twice show up here this is a person who knows as well. And this is not a person who's just starting life or, you know, this is a person who understands and is has, has, I feel they're very committed to this next stage in their life, which is why they're very mindful. All right, so Spirit, give me more of this awareness. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? I mean, the magician with the high priestess, because there is such, there's, this is a, a person who's very in tuned with themselves and they're looking for someone who they're going to collaborate with, three of pentacles. And I really feel they're going to work this out. Like they're going to, they want to work things out with you. So you guys, this could be an energy that's coming in for you. For some of you, this is someone who's already in your life. It could be a past person, but I feel for some, a lot of you, this is what's attracting because of your alignment. And this person's going to be everything you expected. They're going to, you know, they're going to match your energy, make this effort to you and really connect because they're also in the same, they're in the same level. You know, they're really spiritually in tune with themselves, I feel, through life experience. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles because it's it's committed. It's not, this is long term. And three, you got two Pentacles here. So three of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles equals four of Pentacles. Again, this person's very firm. Four is about stability. And they're not about having someone come shake their life because this is a person who's had enough shake their life including you i feel like this message is for both i feel you both are mutual this is a a meeting of alignment um of two people that are ready or have similar stories or it didn't work back then and and let's like you know this is the right time this is very good one's firm foundation and one's firm foundation Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're going to be guarded. Here runs for foundation. Of course, they're going to be guarded about what they've built. Yeah. It took them a long time. A world, a cycle. This was in, this was in um, a night and day. Four of Cups. You know, it was trials and tribulations to, to really set themselves free to be where they're at now. And you know, again, mutual energy, I feel, because you both are kind of going to be in the same place. Again, you want to choose wisely. Talk about all about investments. Yeah, seven. So you've got seven of cups with the seven of pentacles. And so the things they've dreamed about, this is how they preserve, because the things they dreamed about, they manifested into their physical life. And it was not day and night like I said this wasn't an overnight thing and strong pentacles in this read this person had to commit to themselves and their life and really this could be the one for a lot of you you guys really are in a this feels very very secure Aries very secure okay we're on the seven of cups 
yeah talk about secure wow oh my god i was not gonna pull you guys but thank god i did king and queen of pentacles you have all the security here this is every security you can imagine right here talk about a test the universe is literally gifting people this this the next six months are going to be amazing if people come into their journey and what they really want and truth authenticity and honesty so what's some guidance for aries what is the message and guidance for our, our aries message and guidance for aries And there goes your tower, nine of swords, and the four of pentacles. <sighs> Ten of wands. This is change. Drastic change on both ends. Both of you. This is also a pre preservation. You know, this has not been easy. And I feel like once you get into this space, you're going to align with this person. Also, it doesn't even matter, like, where you are at, like, for some of you, this is for some Aries, not all of you, but let's say you guys are in the space of really having lots of frustrations of your stability, because there's the four of, and I was going to say, this feels very mutual, your person has been through so much that they get it. They also get it. Look at the tower here too for them. They're, they get it. And they get the stressors. And this is a compassionate person. Like I said. This is going to be a very compassionate person. Um, towards. You both You both are, are going to be fine. On the same page. I mean. Suits. King and queens of the same suits you guys. You meet eye to eye with this person. And it's really going to change your your energy. You're, you're also going to help you improve. Like You're going to be able to push further and really drop the burdens and literally start balancing yourself out. And things are going to move forward and progress. So blockage, you guys know I pulled blockages, but this fell. Nurture healthy relationships. And this allowed this, you both learned about how to nurture healthy relationships. And I really feel that the past experience is bringing the two of you together because you're in a good place to be able to nurture and um, contribute to each other's growth. And this remaining, you know, stage, right? The world, like the remaining stage of their life, like the next cycle. What else is a blockage for Aries? Yeah, I mean, rituals, practice processing old wounds and working with the rhythm of creation. I feel like this person really learned that. We have boundaries because they also learned boundaries in their life. Givers never need to set limits. Takers never do say no. They learn to have really boundaries. So this person has created extremely hard boundaries, which is also why they are choosing wisely. Their investments is not anything that's going to disrupt what they've got because they worked extremely hard to build and so we also have free will you get to make all of your decisions come from love and this is understanding the freedom the liberation to this ownership of life and how liberating it becomes when you have this level of knowing and conscious like conscious living and the freedom and liberation it brings to everything else in your life and so i really feel this person's in that space so spirit what is the untold message of the heart of this person magnet i keep being drawn back to you and i can't quite explain it because similar energies and obligations I want to get away from the burdens I have to deal with, but I'm stuck right now. And this person, you both are going to, I feel like this is the conflict between um, 
the two energies here. So you guys are going to have a magnet, but for some of you Aries who are in this nine of swords energy where you feel like it's too much going on, the obligations are too much. This is what I'm seeing. The obligations are too much, right? I want to get away from the burdens and I have to deal with burdens I have to deal with, but I I'm stuck right now. This person gets it. This person is going to understand these burdens as well. And I think you both are going to get each other. So again, energies can be interchangeable. You guys put them where they fit. But I feel like it doesn't matter because there's this pool. Because also there's going to be this understanding. There's an attraction here. This is this is going to be mutual. All right, Spirits. What is the message and guidance for our Aries? What is the message and guidance for our Aries? Let go. Time to walk away and let go of the situation or person. There is nothing at the at this moment that you can do to control it. Let go and release it. The universe knows what to do. And I feel this is the past for some of you, definitely, right? There's a lot of burden. So there's things to, that need to be released in order for you to open and be in the flow. Also, understanding all those connections unrequited, like you've been through the most already. So it's time to drop burdens and really free yourself. Um, and you know, you can't control everything. Like you have to be in the flow as well. So what else other guidance, um, for our Aries, what other guidance for our Aries? love you're worthy of love and it will find you give love give the love you would like to receive and that's it you both are going to give each other the love you like to receive even in these down moments this is what i'm saying this person's gonna like you're gonna match you're each other's match and you're gonna be able to understand each other's like burdens and like things you went through there's a lot that you guys will really align with so you are worthy of love and it will find you give the love you would like to receive Aries so Aries I'm gonna leave it right there